What's up, Internet Senior Whoopi here, and welcome to a very special Days Off video. Today I am playing Euro Truck Simulator 2. Woohoo! And uh, you can hear a little bit of a clicking in the background. It's because I'm playing on my Xbox One controller, which is so much fucking easier than playing with a keyboard. It's just. It's ridiculously hard playing with a keyboard. You're. You will get carpal tunnel playing with the keyboard, so I recommend you hunt down a controller if you want to play this game. But this game is glorious, so glorious that I upgraded my graphics card just to play it. Whoop, clip through that car there. But, um, yeah, these settings are worth it. Wait till we get to see some of those, uh, I believe they call them sun shafts. Right, the shit. But, uh, yes, this is the truck that I've been driving for a little bit. Let's actually, uh, switch views here. We're in the cab now. It's kind of classy. I got some upgrades to this one. I think it's got the uh, very special interior, I'm not too sure, but let's start it up. Oh, wipers are on. It was raining last night. We've driven this for about 4,000 miles, or kilometers, sorry. Big difference there. But uh, I've added a few little things to it. I just now noticed that those horns are like, offset. Anyway, or just, they're ridiculous looking. <laughs> Anyway, um, I decided not to put a special paint job on this because I was saving money for another truck. So today, oh, wrong button. I wanted to pull that up and do this. Yes. All right. Today, I will be spending the 185 grand that I have, and you, as you can see in the little corner of my GPS. I'm going to be spending that on a new truck and uh, making it look good. And just because... I'm a sucker for achievements. I've learned that there are achievements in this game, so I've been trying to complete them. And I have literally one more thing to do to get a certain achievement. I, the way I check it wouldn't be able to be captured on OBS, which is what I'm recording with today. But uh, I, or I would show you guys, but it's the travel 999 miles in each truck brand. So that is what we'll be doing today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press start and I've, as you can see from my company over here, Flaming Stwig, uh, we've got eight drivers and eight trucks. So I've definitely bought enough trucks to where I can purchase them online. Hey! So I've driven almost every one of these vehicles but Aveco or uh, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. I had uh, some problems with the truck that I picked. Like, it was extremely slow. I was very, I was very unsatisfied with it. So I just swapped it out and decided I would come back for it on my last truck because this looks really badass and I don't have enough money for it. No, are you fucking kidding me? Or I could just get the highway. That doesn't sound too bad. No, it's not so bad. With the nice... Yeah, alright. Let's get this. We will customize the configuration, because if I'm not mistaken, the Aveco is... Oh, I thought it would be right side drive. Oh, wow, there's a lot of detailing in here. Look at the curtain. And the little pockets for things. You got a sunroof. This actually doesn't look half bad. And a nice console. Looks like they stole it out of a Honda Accord, but you can see a seat belt lying over there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's interesting. All right. Why does he keep snapping my camera back? I fucking hate that. Don't do that, please. All right. I really like the uh, these side skirts here, but let's see. Is there anything I can do? Oh, the transmission's already been upgraded. It actually doesn't seem half bad, and it. Does it come with an air horn? Oh, we gotta find that out if it does or not. Let's see. Can I do some specialty things? Oh yeah, I can uh, improve the... Oh, then it just leaves a hole in the side skirt. Hmm. I kinda like that. Just the hole in the side skirt filled with that. Or actually, oh, I see. I see. We just... Ah, make it flat, and then we can put the badass triple magna flows on it. 
Which will eat all my money away. Oh god. Nah. That might be a bad idea. Let's revert back. I'll save my money, I guess. Yeah, there we go. All right, screw it. Let's just confirm. Let's uh, let's go on our merry way here. Purchase, yes. And I had to pick a garage to send it to. I have two garages in the Netherlands. One in Amsterdam, of course, because where else would you start? I mean, you're right next to the port. What do you think I meant? Of course, you. Of course, internet. But uh, yes, the Amsterdam garage is full. As you can see here, these are all trucks that I've driven and upgraded and stuff like that. This is actually my character <laughs> with the truck I'm currently driving. He's got that look on his face like, I don't want to be here. That's why I like that guy. But uh, yes, we will put it in that slot and we'll say, okay, thank you for your purchase. We will deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in Rotterdam immediately. Thank you. So, I've been playing this game for quite a bit. And I've, uh, of course, looked up some things on the game just to make sure I was doing things right I guess and just to see it's like because I've seen mods for this game and I want to kind of know how to do it and if you are also interested about that you should just YouTube search the name squirrel as weird as that seems his name comes up first when you type in Euro Truck Simulator or if you shorten it with uh, ETS 2 first thing that comes up is his videos with mods and stuff like that and it shows you um, just all these really fucking cool things in the game. So, guys, go check him out if you are interested in Euro Truck Simulator 2. He's also, um, I guess kind of friendly with the developers of this game, SCS, and, um, I guess almost advises them on what the community, of what the community wants. Because he live streams almost every other day. He live streams on Twitch and puts out videos on YouTube like it's his job, but I think he has a regular job. I'm not sure, but uh, a lot of the videos I've been watching here recently have been very recent. So, oh, it comes with those little things on the back, the little wedge things. Let's get out and look at that. Truck of the year, two years ago. Okay, drive. Let's give this truck a look around. Whoa, bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I like the, uh, I like those side skirts. Look at that turning radius. This is a tiny little truck. A tiny little truck. It looks good. I like that. Kind of really huge cab. And the, oh, the chrome looks really nice. When you upgrade your graphics card, that's the first thing you see is the reflections are real time. When I was running with a, uh, underperforming graphics card the reflections were like 12 minutes ago but yes all right so we've heard the engine start up it's kind of quiet it's not that bad for a 500 horsepower engine you think it'd be a little louder but uh here's the determining factor the horn all right here's the regular horn wait oh the, uh, oh no that will not do all right now I see an air horn. Here's hoping it has an air horn. All right. Oh God, no! It has no air horn. So that tiny little fucking horn on top, that little tiny piece of shit horn, is not an air horn. It's me clicking the air horn button. Nothing. That's that's all we have. At least it's quiet inside the truck. Oh, look at this cab. I like that display. Even though I can barely read it. Highly detailed, I guess, but uh, yeah, it's not so bad. The uh, mirror setup. Let's. Yeah, there we go. I need that extra side mirror because, like, if you're sitting right here and you've got the left mirrors in view, there's no way you can see those mirrors over there without looking. And I don't have an Oculus Rift, so yeah, 
Might as well use this for the time being. Let's turn right here. Go. Go, truck, go. Yes. Oh, she's kind of quick. I can feel it. 560 horsepower ain't nothing to fuck with. Alright, so we're in Amsterdam, are we? Let's look at the freight market. And click on Amsterdam. It'll show you all the things in town that we can do. So for kind of a short drive today, just so I can give you guys a taste of this and if you want me to make more videos you can leave me comments and be like hey make more videos and I'll be like okay this game's fun why not so this just wants me to cross the channel wait oh god I clicked on a town by accident go back go back go back yeah this just wants me to cross the channel I'm taking some apples from Amsterdam to Newcastle I'll do it hopefully it doesn't expire soon oh I, I hate that I'll stop and pause the game while I'm at a red light then I'll come back and be like, oh, it's time to go. And run red lights all the time. I was watching uh, one of those squirrel videos. The guy's name is Squirrel, but his YouTube channel might be D Squirrels Nuts. But he does videos in all kinds of uh, PC games. So if you're if that interests you, go give him a Google search and uh, check him out. He's interesting. I like his uh, his tone of voice. is It's almost ASMR quality to put you to sleep. But other than that, the topics he's talking about interest me because I'm playing the shit out of this game and I want to know more about it. And he knows everything about it. And it's kind of cool to see where the game started from because what you see here is with the most recent patch as of May 2015. This game has been around almost two years and they're still patching it. They patched in like to make these trees look better and the skyboxes look better. Just like look at these beautiful clouds and look at that terrible smokestack over there. Just bah. Alright. So I've gotten really good at this uh, backing up thing. Damn, this thing is fast and reversed. Shoop. Oh god, I hate that horn. Ah. Alright, so we have the load. Game says it's going to take 18 hours. I don't think so, game. That turn signal is, like, lethargically slow. Oh, we gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. Go, go, go. Go, truck, go. Oof. I feel like I should adjust that right mirror over there. I've never actually adjusted mirrors in game, but this will show you guys how, how things work. Um, let's adjust the seat, actually. Can I? Yeah. Let's move forward. Wait. Maybe there? That's pretty good. And it's F. F is up. C is down. Well, that's not so bad. All right. Let's, let's stay there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It just, like, they start rolling. I was not expecting that. Okay. Uh, and mirror adjustments. Um, I want to adjust the thing that's not here. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I want to adjust that basically invisible mirror. The mirror that's just like pasted on my screen that doesn't move. If you know how to change that please leave a comment below because I'm I'm stupid. Uh, I guess I have no idea how to change that. Whoa really close to the curb. Oh no! Touch the curb with the cargo. Damn. That's that is unbecoming of me. I am sorry. Do normally drive with uh, great care and some caution, but I get a lot of speeding tickets. Let's just say I like those big engines that go really fast. Woohoo! Even though the fastest you can go in this game is about, I'd say the fastest I've been in a truck with a trailer is about 140 kilometers per hour. As you can see, we still have our stuff in metric down here. I think there's a way to change it. 
but I don't really mind it just because I'm driving in areas that have posted speed limits for uh, kilometers per hour why would I change it to miles per hour that just seems silly so um, the fastest I've been without a trailer is about 160 160 kilometers that's about 100 miles per hour judging basis uh, just stipulation or speculation that's the word I'm looking for because I'm I don't really know how to calculate that off the top of my head they probably taught that in high school but I've forgotten that whoa look at that body roll Ooh, I think that's uh, new for the most recent update is they added that interesting physics -y body roll that didn't always used to be there so hey hey I'm here don't turn into me Whew. some people even if they are AI they're jackasses oh wait I need to stay in this lane okay so we will be taking a ferry I believe oh look at those buildings over there nice I just saw the reflections in the windows which are remarkably clean and reflective Hmm, glorious. Uh, I can't can't even tell you how happy I was when I upgraded my graphics card and saw this game for the first time. No more lag through tunnels. No more terrible looking trees and grass, which, I mean, it's still not Skyrim modded quality, but it, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. Newcastle. Yeah, that's where we're going. All right. Yeah, it doesn't look... It, it looks fine. For a truck driving simulator, it looks amazing. But judging it based off of, like, shit you can do to Skyrim, it's... Uh, it's all right. It's not so great, but it's all right. What is that? Oh. This is, like, a burned wood sign for it's like his towing service oh look a tugboat and an oil refinery how very quaint you do see um boats and trains and stuff just rolling around and floating around doing their own thing can i turn in here nope nope gotta turn right where are these guys going just doing the loop. Some of the AI in this game is uh, it's kind of smart. Whoa, really close there with the trailer. I was watching it the whole time, in case you were wondering. I know what I'm doing. Whoa. Look at the flags. Look at the cruise ship. Mm, very nice. So we will park here and take a cruise. Always wanted to take a cruise. Yes, view possible travel destinations. Yes, 1,000 euros. Oh my god. Oh no, we show up and it's raining. Let's turn our lights on. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. High beams? High beams, okay. And let's drive on our merry way. Drive on the left. God, that's so handy. Thank you, sign. Driving between uh, France and England a lot, you encounter that. It's like, you just start driving, and it's like, oh shit, wrong side of the road. So that, that happens sometimes. Sometimes you forget. It is easy to do. Because this game is so... Uh, it's kind of, it almost puts you to sleep this game, but it's so addicting. I cannot tell you how addicting it is. Oh, wait, almost forgot something. I bought a new truck and just sent my truck back to the, back to the company. So I need to, I need to hire somebody. Shit, I can't believe we, I forgot to hire somebody. Damn. All right. So let's look at my drivers. I need to have a total of 10 male and 10 female drivers that are not me. So, me excluded, we have one male, two male, female, female, so that's two two, three females, and three males, three three, and there's another female. I picked her because she looks naked in this picture. I mean, 
why why else why wouldn't you pick this this person for a job just that's a beautiful headshot but anyway we'll pick another person I believe we're gonna pick a male this time so these are the high-ranking males he's already really high uh, Maximilian is that really his name it, am I saying that right Maximilian sounds great I'll hire you you can go to uh, not Amsterdam Rotterdam yes yes and you get to drive my other Scania there you go sir enjoy oh when you hire from this easy clicking re recruitment agency it costs you one thousand five hundred dollars I uh, I did not know that the first like eight times I did it. and I'm like why am I running out of money that's that's why that's why that happens so keep an eye on those fines it'll do they'll do that to you they're a real bitch so ah, sweet pitter-patter of rain that was something they did in the last update too is they improved the rain they improved the sound we might hear some uh, claps of thunder and stuff like that oh speed camera now I like Britain because nine times out of ten they post where they have speed cameras there is that one time though where you're just driving along in the middle of some random British city and you get popped for a speeding penalty and it's like what the fuck what did I do who was watching me uh, this the guy that I keep mentioning because I've watched so many of his videos squirrels mentions it like uh, there's just guys in ghillie suits hanging out looking for speeding offenders which makes so much sense so uh, they're they're out there they're waiting for me to just start speeding but it's actually well it says 80 on my mini map thing but it said 60 back there I never know which one to follow but it seems the one that's on your mini map is the one that's truthful so we'll follow that and go over 80 miles per hour Oops, some flashing lights there's um, lots of areas where there's just random ass construction. Very realistic. I like that. There's times where you'll just be flying along. You you actually have a, the opportunity to turn off the truck limiter or the speed limiter in the options menu now, which was never really an option. So I'm glad I got to experience that. That's it's really cool. It allows me to drive as fast as I'm driving right now because uh, most trucks are limited to a lot less speed than where what I'm doing right now these turns are a bitch you gotta slow down all right look how tight this is through here so tight tight like a tiger all right whoa 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 are my windshield wipers on full nope they are now give way <laughs> I really like how the signs in Europe say give way. The signs in America if you're interested say yield which is interesting. Some do, some don't. It's just that rectangular or um, sorry triangle shape that denotes the fact that you should give way to oncoming traffic. Which is sometimes not an option in this game. It's, it's weird how it works but um, you can get in these weird loops to where it just traffic spawns at the same time over and over and over and over again and you'll be waiting in traffic for like 10 minutes before you start trying to weasel your way through the other people which is what I always end up doing go in opposite lanes just to get around a traffic jam which doesn't happen too often but happens most just like one out of every 10 junctions at rush hour is just packed Packed fucking full of people. Nobody wants that. Whoa. Speed limit through this turn is 97. I can't do that. Whoa, let's slow, let's slow down just, just a little bit. These lanes are way too small for these big rigs. Is my turn signal on? Yep. It's very lethargic. It's hard to tell that it's on. And that sign is a bitch. Let's just go kind of slow. Oh, hi. Hi, traffic. What's up? Don't mind me. I've got a cute little honk. 
That wouldn't inconvenience you. Yes, yes. Oh, I can see on my minimap and on the in-truck GPS that we are very close to the destination. Glorious! What'd they pay us, like nine grand to cross the channel and drive 15 minutes? Or, like, an hour? The time in this game is... It's really odd. I think it speeds up when you drive and slows down when you are driving really slow. I think it's, uh based off of your normal speeds. Oh, these big giant yellow British speed cameras. Very easy to spot. I love these speed cameras. Only thing that beats that is the um, the French and the German have these giant metal contraptions hanging over the road with solar panels on them and that's when you can tell. It's like, oh that's a speed camera. Shit. That's not like a a track pass or something, those uh, automatic toll booth things. This is definitely not that. It is a speed camera. Slow down. So we are approaching Newcastle. Looks like I've explored the shit out of this city. So no need to do any of that. I am a sucker for achievements too, so there is an achievement to explore all the city, which is awesome. Or all the cities, I should say. Basically get 100% of the map completed. Which is not necessarily just the cities, but that's where the a giant bulk of it is. Like, you can explore every nook and cranny of a city, which means driving into each parking lot to explore it. And you'll come back and it'll be like 5% of the map. It's like, oh, hell yeah. If it's a big city. Maybe less than that. I might be talking out my ass. I don't really check it, but I know... After I do a little bit of exploring, like two maps, it's like I come back, it's like, whoa, I have how much completed? Just insane. I'll give way to these people. Oh, he turns his turn signal on. All right, I'm going to go right. Good luck, everybody else. This is where we're meant to go, this Walmart-looking thing called Cell Plan. Oh, man, and they have no other cargo. It's kind of strange. I like this um, this kind of drop-offs though, where this is actually not a place where you can pick up jobs, it's just a place to deliver cargo, which is kind of odd, I know, but I like it. Because, I mean, if you think about it, in America we have like a Walmart or a grocery store or a food lion or whatever, those kind of places have trucks coming in and out, but no no cargo going out. So I've heard rumors of them making a, uh, a world truck simulator and a Euro, not Euro truck simulator, they already have that. A world truck simulator and an American truck simulator with like giant American 18 wheelers, which is, which is awesome. Which is really cool. I really can't wait for that because the only way you can play giant American trucks in this game is if you mod the game. And let's say you uh, don't really want to do that, then then you're kind of screwed. You're kind of screwed to play the game how it's meant to be played, which is not bad. It's you know it's up to you as the gamer. But uh, we're here. I'm gonna drop off the trailer now. I'll just press up on the D-pad, which is what I have it bound to. Excellent. Excellent. Got uh, a little bit there. Level 22. Master. Love it. All right. Continue. And drive. I've driven, was that 120 kilometers? It's not too bad. Truck of the year. Oh, that horn, though. That horn is going to kill me. That's, I am going to go rectify that as soon as I possibly can. Wow, this rain is ridiculous. Oh, look at the um, the weird building in there. I don't know what that is. If you're from Newcastle, or it says Newcastle Uptine, Up Upton Tyne. Yeah, I'm mis I'm butchering that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. But um, yeah, if you're from this town, just uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what that is in the corner. I could probably Google Maps it, but you know I'm lazy. 
and other people will be wondering, so you will be helping them if you want to do that. But, uh, yes. It sucks to end this video in this terrible rain, but, eh, I am a little tired, and I do want to start editing this video so I can get it out tomorrow for you guys. But, yes. Um, I will go ahead and end this video here. Again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been watching the Senior Whoopi Gaming Channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. And if this game interests you, um, just search Steam for Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'll actually have a link to the developer's website if you wish to purchase it from them so they earn a little bit more money when you do that. So, yeah. Guys, go out there. Have a wonderful day. Play a, play a fun little sim. You'll enjoy it. Except for that horn. Yeah. Ta-ra.